Well, here we are again. I got something in the mail again today. Uh, yeah, it's from the post office, but looks like another another set of tubes I got on eBay. And let's see here. Handy dandy blade out here. And see what we can do. Oop. Dog's outside my door. As unfortunately, he's going to come in here and make all kinds of noise. And these actually are two more 6SK7s. I got these because they're in the original boxes and they didn't cost me that much. Let's see what they look like. Well, looks like they look just as good as the ones I got from Viva Tubes. And these are both GEs. So there's that one. And Success Q7. Let's see. Look in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, another, another GE. And uh, these are all tested and everything else. And they said, yeah, they're new old stock, but shoot, they look like they're brand new. Uh, but you can tell they're in the, the older boxes GE had, but oh well. Anyhow, uh, let's see. Developments on this radio. Uh, this was attached to the switch. Uh, it apparently broke off when I broke it loose. The switch itself. The off-on switch. Well, this was also part of the off-on switch. But what it did, it was basically a tone control. That's what it was. And, you know, I don't really need a tone control. The wiring is old rubber wiring and it's just coming apart so I traced it all the way back and cut it cut it, the other end of the wire out and uh, so it's not going to have this I'm just not going to bother with it but that isn't the major problem the major problem was over here and here we are back to the uh, the band switch again let me see if I can I'm going to flip this thing over so you can see it oh, without breaking any tubes in the process and angle my light differently. Let's see here. Oh yes, here we go. All right. If you notice the band switch, if you notice closely, when I turn the shaft, oh yes, the, the shaft does turn, but uh, all these, the uh, rotary part of the switch itself, they are all broken loose. There's not one single one of them attached to that shaft anymore. Not one. So apparently that was done even before I worked on this thing. I can't figure out how I did it, but there's no way I would have done it. Uh, because I just broke the shaft loose, but uh, yeah, it's but it's so tight in there you couldn't really tell. And uh, now if you're looking at it, see I'm moving it back and forth. That whole one deck, two decks. Yeah, it looks like there's two full decks there. And uh, if you look way in the back, and I don't think you can see it. I can, but you can't. Way in the back, there's another section of it that's busted off. So, that is not going to be an easy fix. I have ordered another rotary switch, another two-deck rotary switch. Uh, and that will be coming after Christmas sometime. Probably December 27th, I think they said. And um, I'm going to have to take this whole thing out, unwire it, and rewire it on the other new switch. So 
that's going to take me a long time. So, yeah. This, this radio is like the gift that keeps on giving and giving. And more problems and more problems. I should just give up, but I figure, eh, well, I don't, don't feel like giving up, so I'll just continue on. Uh, but I did get it to do something, so I'll show you. Got to move my stuff this time, and I'm going to flip this over. Uh, all right, hold on here. And for this one, I'm going to turn the light out. Turn both lights out. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll turn both lights out. And believe it or not, I'm actually going to plug this thing in. It's people saying, "Oh no, you can't plug it in. You didn't go through a variac or nothing. I, it's going to blow up." And I said, "Well, if it blows up, it blows up, you know." But uh, yeah, I'm going to plug it in. So it's plugged in now. Uh, I can tell you right now what's going to happen, but I'll show you instead. Alright, so, go around to the front here. Let me turn this other light out. Okay. Other lights out. And what does it do? Uh, see, that's the switch right there. Boom. Okay. We got two lights that come on. Alright. That's how you're going to see right now. <laughs> two lights, two li both dial lights come on, okay? And one tube, the 6Y6, it lights up. What do you see in the other ones? Guess what? 5Y3, it doesn't light up. So the rest don't light up. Why? Because that's the high voltage rectifier and it is not going to, it is totally dead. Check the filaments out, it's dead. But even with this thing turned on, it's not smoking or anything. So at least I'm I at least I did insulate the, the stuff that was going to go bad anyway. So but I've already ordered more tubes. In fact, I ordered actually I found online I found this guy was had an auction for four of them. Uh four five wire threes, and I do need them for other projects, so it's not like I'm not gonna need them. So I said, oh, well, what the heck. I ended up winning the auction for like 18 bucks and uh, for four different tubes. So it worked out to about five bucks a tube. So, eh, it's okay. But that's all this thing does. It just goes on like that and that's it. You're not going to see anything else out of it yet. And like I said, I got a lot of work to do on it. So anyhow, that's going to be it for now. And since it's December 23rd, I probably won't make anything tomorrow or on Christmas Day. So I'll just say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.